Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello -y. my name is Loey. We are back once again to look at some of the absolute scariest ghost videos I've ever seen on YouTube. I'm a simple woman, okay? Bizarre bub posts, I watch, I react, that's how it goes. I watched these videos on ScreamStream and honestly, my chat and I had a lot of questions by the end of this video, so maybe you guys will have some answers. Before we get into it, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Cook Unity. You all probably know that this is the busiest time of the year for me. I haven't had a lot of time lately to cook myself meals, let alone particularly nutritious ones. Enter Cook Unity, a chef to you meal delivery service. Cook Unity is made up of over 70 chefs who believe that great food should be for everyone. Each week, award winning chefs craft hundreds of of globally inspired meals, from vegetarian to paleo and everything in between. Meals are delivered fresh, never frozen, and the menu rotates every week, so there's always something new to try. With Cook Unity, I've gone from wondering what meals I was going to eat on a daily basis to enjoying chef-prepared meals from the comfort of my own home. Cook Unity makes it super easy. Once a week, you get your fresh chef-cooked meals right to your doorstep, and then whenever you're ready for one of them, you just heat it up and put it on a plate. And every single one is so delicious, let me tell you. Tonight for dinner, I had Chef Ruben Garcia's pesto chicken and Chef's Kiss. Oh my God, it was so, so, so good. I also loved this cheesy keto chicken parm bowl from Chef Andreas Mendez and the adobo flatiron steak with Zatar rainbow fingerling potatoes from Anat Admoni. Cook Unity has been a delicious and very helpful addition to my weekly routine, especially during spooky season, my busiest time of the year. It really makes me feel like I have my own private chef, but I get to try different chefs from all over the world. The subscription is super flexible and you can pause, skip weeks, or cancel at any time. If you want to give Cook Unity a try, you can go to cookunity.com slash lane 50 or click the link in my description box down below and use code lane 50 to get 50% off of your first order of meals from Cook Unity. Thank you so much to Cook Unity for sponsoring today's video. And now let's watch these paranormal videos. So we have eight scary videos to go over tonight. Eight videos with scary backstories from our one true love, Bizarre Bub. I'm so excited to watch these. I have no idea what they're about. Um, but as always, I'm ready to get spooked with you. It's late at night when a girl named Pershka records a video in her kitchen. The purpose of the video is to show an ice machine that she recently purchased as there's something about it that creeps her out. The ice maker, according to her, makes a very strange noise during the late hours of the night. So one night, as the ice machine makes its unusual noise, Hershka heads over to the kitchen to record the sound. But as she records this video, something pretty creepy is caught on camera. What was supposed to be a short, random video turned out to be a terrifying clip that Hershka has recently taken down for unknown reasons. She didn't say why she took down the clip, but it seems that the video itself says it all. Have a look. Wait, this is so weird. Like an ice maker makes weird noises in the middle of the night. Is that not just what ice makers do? I'm so curious what this is about to be because I, I don't think I understand. Wait, what was that? Oh, that did kind of look like a person, didn't it? Like a scene out of a horror movie. Hershka walks into the kitchen and captures for just a split second the figure of a little girl. Even creepier is that whoever this was just disappears as soon as the lights turn oh, on. Oh, I have chills. It's for this reason that viewers believe she had taken down the clip, as otherwise it would continue to remind her of this disturbing incident. Whatever was captured has left her extremely unsettled. Even though this video was taken a few years ago, it is still unknown as to whether or not Hershka had captured something paranormal on camera. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, that was a child. That was a full-blown kid, right? Like, that was a little kid, like, clear as day. Oh, that one was freaky. That is just so obviously somebody in the room. Like, that's not, you know, there are those boxes over there in the corner, but that's just so, no. And then it disappears the second the lights come on. Oh, no. Maybe it's a haunted ice machine. Maybe, 
<laughs> Maybe this is a horror story of a haunted ice machine. <laughs> In the early 2000s, there used to be an abandoned asylum in Massachusetts known as Danvers State Hospital. Okay. Before shutting down in 1992, the asylum had an estimate of 3,000 patients, all of whom were severely mentally ill and poorly treated. Mm -hmm. Nurses who used to work here recall seeing horrifying things that continue to haunt them to this day. From patients walking around in their own filth due to a lack of basic hygiene, to patients receiving forced lobotomies that would often leave them in a much worse state than before. Employees of the Danvers State Hospital are haunted by these terrible memories. However, aside from the past, the asylum is infamous for being extremely creepy. After shutting down in 1992, teens would come here after hearing rumors that the building was haunted. Although this next video wasn't taken by a trespassing teen, it was taken by a curious security guard back in 2000 whose job was to look after the historic building. But little did he know that he would capture something very strange while exploring the basement Ooh. of the asylum. Take a look. That is just the reality of those old um, asylums. I remember when I still lived in Georgia, um, I did like a video at and like at a, a partially unused, like partially abandoned asylum. It still runs, but a lot of the buildings are no longer used or anything like that. And it's just like when you look into the history of these asylums, like people who had no reason to be in a mental hospital were like being held captive there and were just treated so poorly. So I often think that these kinds of places are some of the most haunted because I feel like there's just so much energy, you know what I mean? But I, I'm scared over this one. This, this one already has me a little spooked, not gonna lie. <laughs> Why is it getting out last? <laughs> Do I not see anything so far? Oh, camera glitch? Maybe? It is just kind of giving asyl or asylum. It's kind of giving outlast, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's because I just started playing Outlast Trials again recently. I'm so nervous after the last clip, like, to get jump scared. It's a bit anything. hard to see at first, but as the night guard pans the camera to a room inside the basement, a shadowy figure can be seen moving slowly inside. Wait. The guard doesn't notice the figure until much later after rewatching the footage. Oh. Naturally, he was left shaken up after seeing what appears to be a slender looking silhouette walking further into the room as if trying to hide from him. Mind you, the basement of this building is completely that inaccessible is to outsiders, so there's no way that a trespasser could have been inside. Like, I thought that was the guy's shadow when I first saw that, but it just so clearly is someone walking into that room. It's also so subtle that it freaks me out a lot, actually, because, like, no part of me thinks that one is fake. Like, to me, that one seems so realistic because it's so barely there. You can hardly see it. Even with the last video, it's like there's so clearly someone in the kitchen. You can barely see that. If you are not, like, really looking at that video, you would not see it. It is so slight. Like, that, to me, is how a lot of, like, ghosts are captured on camera or how I would assume they would be is, like, in a way where you can hardly see it or, like, in a way where it's not like a full body apparition, but like a, a, a barely there shadow person. I don't know. I don't know. It's very low quality with the camera as well, but Bizarre Bub did say this was filmed quite a while ago. It's no wonder that viewers believe something supernatural was captured. But of course, the question is begged. Just what exactly was caught on camera? Whether ghost or not, it remains a mystery as to what was captured. Now the following video was submitted to me by someone who has no idea where the video came from. Its original source is unknown, but despite its mysterious origins, the clip is sufficiently creepy on its own. The video seems to have come from a CCTV camera that was placed in front of a driveway. Everything appears to be normal until you notice the two strangers that are standing outside the owner's home. They come into view as the owner beams them with the car headlights, presumably as an attempt to scare them off. This, however, doesn't work. They're still there while eerily standing still. It is at this point, though, where things get really creepy. 
What? Watch. Is this? Wait, this one is so weird already. Like, they're just, like, perfectly stationary. Are those even people? Like... Did someone put mannequins there? <laughs> to scare people off? They are not moving. In utter disbelief, the property owner sees the two strangers disappear without a trace. I didn't realize this was the property owner. Bizarre Bub literally said that, and I was like, oh my god, maybe someone put mannequins there to scare someone off. This is this person's place. This is their home. This is their home. No. Like, they're so clearly there. You can see them in the dark. We saw them light up. They don't, like, vanish in the dark either. And then suddenly the lights come back on. Like, are they moving? Oh, they are moving. Okay, that's in utter really disbelief, weird. The property owner sees the two strangers disappear without a trace. Clearly, there had been two individuals standing outside, but somehow they vanish as soon as the lights are flashed again. Now, how exactly this happened is something viewers can't seem to explain. What? And with little info on this clip, the video becomes even more mysterious. If two strangers were seen on camera, then how is it possible that they suddenly disappeared? Like, you can just clearly see them there. He's telling them, like, hey, get out of here. Like, go on. How would they have, like, run that fast? In the following video, a man is woken up after hearing strange noises inside his apartment. The man lives alone, so he finds it alarming okay. to hear what sounds like an intruder inside his home. Oh, that's not. He oh, quickly oh, grabs dear. his phone and begins to record. Yeah, that sounds like someone in your house. Like you can hear the footsteps. Strangely, the sound of footsteps can be heard coming from above as though someone is in the attic. Now the man in this video is known as Nick Long, and it wasn't until the next morning that he decided to leave from the safety of his room to investigate the attic space. He treads carefully as to avoid any physical confrontations. He is very brave for going up there but also very real for not going until morning. As Nick looks around and checks every corner, he sees that no one is there. Not even traces of a person, such as footprints, can be found anywhere. This was definitely strange, but Nick doesn't really think much of it since plenty of other strange things have happened before inside his apartment. Though, it would be a few nights later when the strangest encounter happens. Guess I've been hearing weird noises and and this door has been like opening and closing. Yo, what the fuck? A draft? Draft? Maybe? Yo. The door to the attic somehow opens on its own as soon as Nick approaches it. Feeling spooked, Nick is completely unsettled by this incident. It's now apparent that something strange is going on. But as if things couldn't get any more creepy, the following night, Nick is recording his dog when he captures this. A little doggy. A little doggo. Oh, there were a that? bunch of noises and knocks coming to my room. What was that? Oh, Doggo knows something's there. Doggo senses something. Yo. The dog is like freaked. In this clip, towards the end, if you look at the blinds, the little, um, it looks like the thing, on, yeah, it's shaking back and forth, it's like moving. With all that's happened before, Nick believes that something isn't right with his apartment. He believes it might be haunted, 
and thinks that the attic might have something to do with this. Whether ghost or not, he's deeply unsettled by these incidents. Despite living somewhere else now, he can't seem to forget the strange events that have happened there. When, when they just showed the door, I was like, well, maybe there's something that like, you know how those old, um, that door had one of those really old glass doorknobs. You know what I'm talking about? Like these, for me, those never really latch all the way. Oh no, it is, it is, it is fully latched. So yeah. something is clearly opening that. I don't know. That one is weird. The dog very clearly saw something. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this one is definitely haunted. I'm so curious if anything happened after he moved, though. This next video was recorded by a security camera inside an apartment security. complex. Not much is known about this video, except that it came from this residential building where the little girl and her family reside. The video starts oh off with footage of the young girl playing by a staircase. Below the stairs is what appears to be a small room. The little girl can be seen staring at something inside the room, but nothing noticeable can be seen on footage. Or at least, that's what the child's parents initially thought. It was only after watching this video multiple times that the parents were left horrified. Oh something no. was actually oh no. captured inside oh this no. room. Oh Take no. a look. Not in the creepy crawl space. Where did this cat come from? Because the cat very clearly... Oh, the cat knew something was in there. Yup, something is in there. What is that? It's so pixelated, you can only see that something is rising. It like blurs out the camera though. It now becomes clear as to why the little girl seemed hesitant to go inside. A disembodied hand can be seen beckoning to the girl. It a almost hand? seems to come out of nowhere before disappearing into thin air. It Even the cat hand. who later joins the girl seems unsure about going inside. Oh no! Whatever this might have been was concerning enough to make them reluctant about entering the space. It was a hand. This mysterious footage, like most videos, has yet to be solved. But until then, you be the judge on what was captured inside this room. Oh, nothing good. Absolutely nothing good was captured in that room, besties. I really, when it first showed this, I was like, oh, it's like a rat. <laughs> it's something under a bunch of trash in that room because it just looks like there's trash and stuff everywhere. That's a, that is a hand. That's a hand. Oh, I hated that one. On August 23rd of 2023, George Cruz and his wife had just finished making dinner and were heading towards the living room to eat their meal. The couple sit close to each other while watching their favorite TV program. Okay. As minutes pass, it appears that nothing strange is happening in this footage. But fast forward to just a few more seconds and something happens that scares the living daylights out of the couple. Prior to this incident, George and his wife had been experiencing strange occurrences inside their house. Before having to document any of these oh occurrences, boy. they would often wake up in the dead of night and hear faint whispering coming from somewhere inside the house. Bizarre, but why? The creepiest of all is when the couple would see household items move on their own. Over time, the activity has become so intense that the couple has asked for help from those who specialize in the paranormal. It was recommended that they set up cameras around their home to capture evidence of the so-called paranormal activity. Somebody wanted you to make the next paranormal activity movie on your own dime. These cameras are incredible. The way that it's tracking them around the room like, are you kidding me? This ghost footage is going to be next level. I am just a little bit excited. I'm not happy that they're experiencing it, but I am excited to see it. Weirdly enough, they were also told to get rid of a certain item inside their house. George and his wife own an old rocking chair, and apparently this chair is the source behind all the activity. Haunted chair? So the chair? couple does exactly that by selling it. And surprisingly, a buyer has taken an interest in purchasing the chair. The couple holds onto the chair until the buyer comes over to pick it up sometime next week. But in the meantime, something very strange is captured on their cameras. No one is home when this is captured. Okay, what do you, what do you got for us? Okay, yeah, it's rocking. Why does the rocking chair have 666 on the top too? Like, not that I think that's particularly creepy, but it's so intentionally supposed to be creepy, you know? It is clearly moving. It's not like a trick of the camera. Anything. 
That was weird. When the lights kind of moved, it got like... Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh no. Oh, this ghost is rearranging for... You don't live here. You do not get to rearrange furniture. The way that the camera is tracking it is crazy and I knew it would be, <laughs> but oh my God, that's terrifying. I'm trying to catch the next one before it happens. Okay, so what I'm gathering is that the ghost is just rock, rock, rocking. Like, even as things are flying across the room and, like, the pillows are... Like, even as that's happening, the rocking never stops. Is it multiple people? Is it multiple ghosts? Is it one ghost with very long arms? What is less scary? I don't know. Eerily, the chair begins to rock back and forth before somehow other objects inside the house move on their own. Although terrified by what was captured, the couple is glad they had caught this. That's they can now show this video to those who've doubted their claims. However, this wouldn't be the only footage they'd be showing because as of recent, more activity has been caught on camera. Not long after this video, the following incident was captured. Take a These look. These cameras are incredible. Every single person with a haunted house needs those cameras to capture the activity, please. Okay, so they're just hanging. Oh, that is weird. I wonder why it moved. Oh, something fell? No. Now, moments before an object falls down, the camera pans over to the shelf as though sensing movement in that area. What's weird about this, though, is that it sensed it before the DVD case had fallen on its own. That is weird. Now, one could say that the camera picked up movement from the TV, but if that were so, then the camera would have already moved earlier, given that there were things moving on the screen way before the camera had moved. It Man. seems like this was a random occurrence, unless it was sensing something else. The couple continued to document these strange occurrences in the hopes that someone could explain what's happening. Ultimately, their goal is to stop the activity. But until then, it seems they'll continue to share more footage of this unusual situation. That is terrifying. That one is so creepy. Honestly, the last clip where in broad daylight, the camera goes over to like an area of the room where nothing is happening, there's no movement or anything, and then something falls. This one, I, I would put money on this one being paranormal. Like this one is creepy as hell. It just has this weird feeling to it. But I'm just like, does this ghost think they own the place. They're literally like going up to the shelf, grabbing off DVDs and books and stuff. They're like <laughs> tossing the table around the room. They're rearranging furniture. Like you do not live here and you're about to get sold on Facebook Marketplace. So chill. Last few videos. In the following video, a man is alone at home when he realizes that the lights in his basement won't turn on. Feeling a bit scared, he walks down into the cellar with Why? caution. According to him, it's not the darkness that scares him but the basement itself. From time to time, noises such as footsteps or the sound of someone walking back and forth can be heard coming from inside. This often happens when no one else is at home. Now the man had had this experience previously, but it was at his job. He works as a grave digger, and oftentimes, after placing a coffin oh. inside a freshly dug grave, he would feel as though someone else was there with him. Mm, Although unable to yeah. explain this unusual sensation, it would be the following incident that leaves him extremely baffled. You know, that's not really a position that I've ever thought about before. Like, to be a grave digger is not, like, really something I've ever thought about before as a profession. That does just sound like a fairly, like, emotionally taxing job, first and foremost. But also, like, yes, I would just assume you would constantly have paranormal attachments to you because, like you are spending someone's final moment with them, with their physical body, before they go home. So, I don't know, that that's really a terrifying premise. A really, really scary thought. At the moment, in the basement, I swear, I keep hearing someone walk. 
I don't know exactly what it is, but it's kind of creepy. Very creepy. Laundry room still has power, so that's good. But the, uh, the rest of the basement's power is completely out, which is very strange. I'm not sure what that noise was, but... But you were just by the uh, breaker. I'm home alone right now, so... Just turn them back on. <sighs> we'll see, I guess. Look out back. No, nothing back there. I don't know. It is broad daylight, There's been a too. lot of strange things happening. Now it happens real fast, but in case you missed it, oh, if I you look closely that. as the man pans the camera to the bathroom, you can see what appears to be a strange shadow-like figure standing completely still inside a bathtub. It doesn't oh. appear to be moving at all, as if who, or whatever this was, had been entirely stiff. Even creepier is that, that when the man fast. returns to the bathroom, the figure is no longer there. Oh. Given its strange appearance and Ooh. sudden disappearance, the man thinks that something supernatural was captured. But as always, I'll leave it to you to come up with your own conclusions. Could it be that someone had broken in and quickly hid away from the man? Or might this be something completely different? Um, you know, I was going to say that maybe that wasn't a person when it first flashed by. I was like, oh, that's like, that's like clearly just like a shadow. But the fact that like later on it wasn't there, there is something there. Okay, now that we're seeing this again, there's like a shadow here and then there's a shadow being cast by that shadow. Like, there is something actually in there. That one is crazy. That was like a sleeper vid. Because when I first saw it, I was like, is this paranormal? Are we sure that this is actually a person? But the longer that I'm watching this clip, the more I'm just like, oh, this is, that's like actually somebody. The more I'm looking at this one, the more I dislike it. Ooh, it does. It looks like a person facing the wall. Oh my God, they're Blair Witching. <gasps> it's the Blair Witch effect. Oh my God. Oh my God, get out of there. Last video. This next video was taken inside an old restaurant that is currently okay. being renovated. The person recording this doesn't say where exactly this footage was taken, and for good reason. Aside from privacy, this place isn't safe to be in. It's not just the construction that makes it unsafe, but rather something else. For just an idea uh, of why ghost? that is, the owners of the restaurant are deeply afraid of the strange things that have happened here. Oh. Now the person recording this is someone who I featured in a previous video. They too have been experiencing strange happenings and believe that it won't stop unless they move out from home. Given their experience with this unusual phenomenon, they were invited to see this restaurant before it's completely demolished. Although We've watched that guy's videos. We watched them like recently, right? Although expecting to see something unusual, nothing happens. That is, until much later when they head over to the back of the restaurant. What happens then is terrifying to say the least. Oh boy. This is what they caught. Something's being picked up there. He's zooming. Oh, it's cold right here. It's the other way. Hello? going up there. Definitely not going back there. Oh wow, it, it is really cold right here. What was that? No, oh my god, it's still there! It looks like a little kid! I don't think it's happy we're here. It like vanished! Oh, that one was creepy. That one was good. That was really good. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, sorry, that scared me so bad. Initially, a strange shadow can be seen peeking from a corner. The man, whose name is Wynn, doesn't notice it until much later, after feeling a sudden drop in temperature. The room suddenly becomes cold when out of nowhere, the small figure is seen by Wynn. Upon seeing this, he quickly hides away as if frightened by whatever this was. But as if things couldn't get any creepier, 
the mysterious shadow disappears. I'm not going out there. Definitely not. I'm sure idea. that audio, by the way, is just talking from the other parts of the restaurant because it didn't seem like he was alone in this clip. But there's something about that audio that sounds so distorted and creepy. Like when we first were watching this, I thought that was going to be the scare. I think I really hate like a little kid ghost being in an abandoned restaurant that's about to be demolished. It it just is giving Five Nights at Freddy's. It's giving like absolute nightmare fuel horror story. I'm so curious if they actually did have paranormal experiences at this restaurant. One thing I wanna say is that when McPix, and I only know this because I just mentioned him in a scary side of TikTok video. Win McPix is a video editor by trade and it's kind of like widely assumed that most of his TikToks are edited. Now, this is the only one I've ever seen of him, not in his home, but this is like his signature haunting, if that makes any sense. There's always a shadow person and they always kind of disappear. This one was a bit more subtle than the others and there's a lot of different camera angles I've never seen before. So it may be an entirely like, legit thing caught on camera but just wanted to throw that out there because again i just talked about him so it's fresh in the mind either way these videos like edited or not are so freaking creepy his videos are creepy man i don't think it's happy we're here oh, no. oh my god wait i think it is talking i think it is talking oh that is so creepy it is talking so much in those clips goodbye that's it for me <laughs> that's enough bizarre bub for one night that's gonna be it for me today guys thank you so so much for watching if you did enjoy go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already a special thank you to my subscribers who are members of the channel if you want to join the channel membership and get members only perks such as members only videos and more you can click that little join button it should be somewhere around the screen we would love to have you a special thank you to my vip loves for their generous and continued support of the channel. I love and appreciate you very much. I love you all very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!